Last video of the day, I promise. <laughs> I told you it was coming and it finally arrived. I'm surprised that we got this after we got the one that actually recently came out. So we got the 85 through 86 NES works. And we got the 87 ahead at the time. So we showed that off on uh, Friday or Saturday, one of the two days. And we got the collector's edition because like I said, I love the slip covers. I love the artwork. I just prefer the better versions, you know. And because I, I like what they've done with it, you know, it's one of the uh, more better stuff that has like pictures, you know, the better type of pictures. Because I don't like something that's just nothing but read to words or something that's just like the, the pictures are just one picture per something and very small. I don't like that. So I'm a sucker for these type of books. I've complained in the past about the prices on some of them, especially with the geek li uh, Geeks line, with their anthologies and all that. Their collectors are so high. And here I am getting a limited run that's overpriced in my opinion, but still, I got to. I love this type of stuff. <laughs> some things I fork money out for, some things I won't. So let's see how I'm going to do this. Let's get some of the goodies and stuff out, and then I'm going to bring the camera over to show off. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to mess up the cover, try and pull the thing out because there's goodies in here. And I assume it's just going to be like the last one we showed off. Here is the Certificate of Authenticity. Authenticity. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me. Some, some words that's beyond my ability to say. I got that Southern accent mixed with German accent. So sometimes I just butcher things. <laughs> All right. No, Tuxie. Do not jump up. Ah! Down. She I knocked over some of the cards. Uh, she knew better than this. She saw things up here. And she don't ever jump up here when I do have things. But she been striving for attention all day hey, let's just go ahead and get this before I pick that off the floor uh, I apologize about that I, I try my best not to really uh, get too angry about stuff you know they are little small creatures that want the attention and affection let's start off we got variants of what they think covers for the look we got the duck hunt definitely can't copy everything to the look you know but their variation of it. Kung Fu. I actually kind of like this cover. Their Super Mario Brothers rendition. <laughs> Look at Bowser. <laughs> Look at the mushroom with, with the face on it. Oh no. Where would this be? Gradius? Ooh, Ghosts and Goblins, Goose the Ghosts, uh, pretty sure it's Ghosts and Goblins, the original, OG. I, man, this game here took me a while, get to the end and beat, straight up one take. Just to find out, you gotta repeat back from the start all over again, to really see the second thing, and this is much complicated and harder than, and yeah, I didn't... Man, this one of the games I've never fully beaten. Donkey Kong. That's a nice one right there. I like that cover. Sh showing um, Daisy, because it wasn't Peach back then, going after Donkey Kong. Well, excuse me, it's not Pe uh, Daisy. It's uh, pa uh, Pauline, Paulina. Hopefully I said it right and correct it. I said something in my mind goes a little in and out. I do apologize if I said a bit uh, wrong. And Excite Bite. I really enjoy this cover. This one right here looks pretty good. We got one underneath. Balloon Fight. <laughs> LOL. And then we showed off before. This one looks a little bit more fatter. I think. Once again, the old school design that has all... Yeah, this one's more on par of like how the back of the NES or like in you know, the ads had this. 
I enjoy. And then we got the artwork for the first thing. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I like that. All right. Once again, we got a nice dust jacket. I'm gonna try my best not to mess up. I do notice um, okay, there was something on it. Just put this to the side. Bring it over to show off the goodies. As in, like you know, the slip cover. I mean. Put it there. I do apologize. The desk got all the Pokemon um, wrappers on it. So here it is. What, can we get the glare out? That would have been nice, Mike. The glare off. All right. Well, I think that's the best I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I apologize, but we got the light on top on, so you have a better lighting source, and of course you see that glare. That's pretty awesome. That's what the dust jacket looks like. Get a bit of there. All right. Try to hold it with this hand and try to do a flip. Oh yeah, look at that. Some of the bigger type um blown up look kind of like how um bitmap does their books. I mean like that like I, I enjoy a big type you know or medium type I don't like the small type of screenshots lots of good reading if you can't really see that well I apologize this is the best we're going to get it at overhead but I mean I'm just doing this to give y'all a general look or a general idea of things and this is how the standard also looks like the collectors took the slipcover and goodies So definitely, definitely a fantastic year of my childhood. Because I really didn't have a good childhood, but I had something that lifened it and got me off a real bad funk, you know, of um, bad thoughts, bad, uh, severe depression. I turned to video games, and that helped me out a lot in life. So that's definitely a plus. Yeah, I love these books, you know, anything from different things. I got all the ultimate NESs. Super NESs, I got uh, PlayStation Anthology, the Omnibus. I, I collect these type of books, you know. Uh, Hardcore Gaming 101. So that gives you a general idea, you know. Not full page by page like some of these other people might be do, but I just want to knock this out, show you what I got. Hopefully you enjoy this video. <laughs> Please leave some likes, some comments. Definitely hit that bell to subscribe and always enjoy.